Hi and welcome to this new video in which I will try and walk you through the uh, monitoring of uh, Domotix and automatically restarting it if it fails. Uh, I'm going to follow this uh, wiki page on Domotix.com and uh, yeah, well, let's get started. Uh, at first, we need to SSH into our Domotix uh, server. Server, I am using Putty for that. So let's start by copying this command sudo apt-get install monit. This will install the monit uh, software. Alright, now it is installed and we can configure monit. So by copying pasting this command sudo nano slash etc slash monit slash monit rc we can edit the control file so now we can see uh, we can try and modify this parameter set daemon 1 20 to 300 for well that's basically seconds so now it's two minutes um well and the log file that should all be fine it's not really uh the start delay that's maybe a good thing to do otherwise you may get uh, boot loops um well, the email notifications, I am not going to set those. Uh, yeah, that's over here. I am not going to do that. Uh, but I would like to use the web service. Uh, find the uncomment un uncommented section. It begins with set httpd port. Uh, set monit uh, I can't seem to find this is email format send the alert to this email address set HTTP the port and uncomment that so now we should be able to use the HTTP service and use use address local host only accept connection from local host no we don't want that we just I would like to have password let's see check system let's see um monet rc we are in that yeah we are in that config file so now <coughs> you can do You can begin to input the programs that you want monitored and protected it into the etc monitor monitor rc configuration file. You can use the init of the command to stop or start a program. Here are simple configurations. So check general system resources, check if a file exists. Check if a process is running. Yes, I want that. So we want to create some space in between that. And we'll put that in there. So I want this check process 
the mod with pd file for a start program you need to do the start stop if failed well this should be your uh, port if you change your demotic port you should change this and well i don't want to monitor my cpu uh, usage so that's not necessary but now i can do ctrl x and y to save the file and Control file syntax okay, so I checked the file and it's okay, so I made no mistakes, so I can start my monet. Connection refused, cannot create socket to localhost 2812, connection refused, alright. So that's something I need to change, well I am um, the... Uh, the web service is not really necessary, so I will disable it for now by placing a hash in front of this. Control X Y. Now, syntax error allow. So my syntax on line one fifty eight is not correct. Syntax error in allow. Line 158, well, that's hard to count in this program. Uh, but I think it's in here. Is there something with allow in here? There is not. Then it should be something above. Oh, here, allow local. Oh, this one should uh, I should have commented this one out too. So control X Y now let's check it should be okay. So <clears throat> if I do start all oh, the monitor is, is not enabled please to allow monitor to connect. So I should I have to enable the HTTP interface. But then I will not set the. I will use another port, so I want to use uh, two 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 two. Uh, well, I should not use my number pad because that does not work in Putty. So if I do this, that should be fine. Cannot create. Socket to localhost 2222. What am I doing wrong? What is the. I should do something else because there is use address and I did not set use address. So I should do this use address 192. Uh, I should not use my. I just said I should not use my numpad and I did again. So I have to search again. Set HTTP port use address. 192 192.168.2.211 that's my domotics internal IP address that should be good and allow zero dot zero dot zero dot zero slash zero dot zero dot zero dot zero should allow anyone to connect so now <clears throat> it cannot create sockets to me i will try and figure this out and come back 
All right, I resolved my issue. Um, and that was, uh, well, quite a search, but uh, I found the issue. Um, and what I did is I did, you can see it over here, sudo monet reload, and then it reinitializes it. And you have to reload it after you edit the uh, monet RC. So I will uh, show my monet RC right now. I have the set daemon 120 and with start delay of 240. And if we go down a bit, you have to enable the web service. And that's over here, set httpd port to 2812 and the use uh, address localhost and allow localhost you need that and then you can put in for services uh, here the demotics thing we copied from uh, from over here so yeah over here we copied this and then you you do uh, save it by control x and then you have to uh, reload uh, by do typing sudo monet reload then sudo monet start all and then it will uh, all start and you can check the status uh, and that will uh, well that will keep the modix running uh, if it crashes it will restart the modix within uh, two minutes if you set it like I did so I hope this was helpful uh, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one